Thank you, listeners. Let's learn sumo. Well, we're in the November Basho in Fukuoka in Japan. It is day three and four. We're going to go through today. Uh, I'm Clayton. Welcome to the podcast. Don't forget to check out our Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Let's Learn Sumo. Don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. So let's have a quick look at day three. Uh, you know, I think I said yesterday uh, for day one and two is very much the intent and purposes. Uh, basho so far because there's been a whole lot of intent and purpose by the uh, Sanyaku ranks, our Ozeki and Sekiwake. Maybe not so much by our Komasubi, poor old Hokuto Fuji has had a bit of a rough run. So we'll, we'll start. We haven't looked at our lower order yet, so uh, let's have a quick sticky beak. Nishiki Fuji finally gets a win up on day three against Roga, the new guy from uh, Jurio. Big touchy eye by Nishiki. Uh, Nishiki Fuji forced him, forced Roger back. Quick pull and uh, Roger goes down as Tsukiya Toshi. Thrust down. Uh, look, took a while for Nishiki Fuji to hit his straps and get the tournament going. Uh, Roger is in a little bit of trouble after going winless after three days against all the guys he pretty much faces in, uh, in Jurio. Uh, remember, he did get a promotion on an 8 and 7, so not, not a very convincing promotion. Churunumi, he beat uh, Kitanawaka. Kitanawaka's Running a little bit hot so far. He's uh, people are talking him up, but he got rolled after uh, Churunumi got a frontal grip. Uh, Kitanawaka did get a little bit of a, a slip there, and he went out. Uh, Yori Tayoshi uh, frontal crush out. Tomokaze, uh, look, he's had some real battles with his knee. He had a, a nearly a career-ending knee injury there a while back. He defeated Tohaka Kuryu. Tohaka Kuryu is a bit of a He's a bit of a puller. He tends to retreat and try and pull his uh, opponents down. Uh, look, this was a bit of a slap fest, and Tohaka Kuryu's slaps really did nothing, didn't really move Tomokaze about. Uh, Tomokaze slaps did move Tohaka Kuryu around, a couple of good thrusts, and Tohaka Kuryu went out, Tsukiyadashi, a frontal thrust out. Ichi Yamamoto, he is 3 0 after beating Surugisho. One and two. Look, Surigisho copped a really a bit of an ugly fall on day, I think it was day two. Um, I think his knee's in a bit of trouble. He doesn't seem to have a much go forward and he got forced back and he went down a bit of a twist, but he ended up as his knee buckled, a Yoritayoshi frontal crush out. I don't think it's looking too good for Surigisho. I would think he might end up going Kujo before too long. Uh, Takata Fuji defeated Oho. Lots of thrusting. Sideways movement caught Oho off a guard. Sukiyatoshi thrust down. Tamawashi defeated a little bit of unlucky Hiradumi. Hiradumi's 0-3 on day 3. Uh, Tamawashi 3-0. and uh, He had some pretty good go forward and uh, he just um, couldn't finish Koto Eko off the day before. There's some fairly forceful go forward by Hiradumi, but Tamawashi just got a touch to the side and Hiradumi just went down. Hikiyatoshi hand pull down. Uh, Ryuden doing well, 3 0, defeated Sadanumi 2 and 1. Uh, good grip by Ryuden, some, just some good sumo by Sadanumi's um, and some power and footwork. Uh, the day before, but solid right grip by Ryuden. Sadanumi tried to lift Ryuden, but Ryuden just took the opportunity as he retreated to overpower Sadanumi and got his inside grip and just rolled him out with just a really nice, relaxed, slow Uwatanage overarm throw. It was just a really... Uh, it looked relaxed, but I'm sure there was some power to it. It just looked very clean and neat. Uh, Mita Kiyumi defeated uh, a bit of a hapless Kota Echo at the moment. Um, Mita Kiyumi gets his one and two. Kota Echo's on one and two as well. Mita Kiyumi's knee is in a bit of doubt after his loss to Otomo Fuji the day before, um, but he is certainly much bigger than Kota Echo. Mita Kiyumi just exploded at the touchy eye, head down, uh, and I think I wrote in my notes that he wants to watch out for the hanker doing that too often, and he just plowed poor old Kato Echo out of the ring. Oshidashi frontal push out. Uh, Miyagiru defeated Endo. Endo tried everything, but um, grip battle. Endo got a nice throw, but to the crowd's confusion, when they don't have the replay, Endo stepped out as he tried to execute the throw. A little bit unlucky there. Um, Yori Kiri, they call it, a frontal force out, and I kind of... Maybe thought it should have been a Fumadashi rear step out or a Issa Miyashi frontal step out. Who can tell with these Kimirate sometimes? A little bit out there. Tami Fuji 
versus Kimbozan uh, Atami Fuji. He's a big man. He's in good form. Uh, Kimbozan tried to thrust, but Atami Fuji got a one-handed grip and just drove Kimbozan straight back. Yurikiri. Uh, Sean Anumi versus Hok Seho. Look, this was a pretty good bout. It was a big, long one. Sean Anumi got an inside grip on the one arm bandit. Uh, Hok, Tufu, uh, Hok Seho denied him his right grip, and a little hand battle ensued under their chests. And Hok Seho he finally showed a little bit of impatience and went for his right hand grip after a, a pretty long cat and mouse game in the middle there for a while. Uh, Sean Anumi took advantage, grabbed a front grip, and as quick as a bullet pushed Hok Seho back. A Yurikiri, I think uh, Hok Seho. Once he got that little grip, I think you could see the look on his face. He's like, oh, I'm in trouble here. Uh, Midori Fuji, 2-1, and one, defeated Takanosho, 1-2. and two. Uh, Push a thruster with go forward. I've got about Takanosho and our pocket rocket from Shizuoka. Takanosho had Midori Fuji under a bit of pressure going backwards to the bales. Midori, he kind of started to go down on his bum at the bales, but he kind of just got out of the way of um, Takanosho just in time. And as Takanosho went forward, a little bit of momentum went down and he touched the bales first. A Hiki Atoshi hand pulled down. I don't know that it was a lot of pulling of the hand, but uh, look, finally a bit of luck going Midori Fuji's way after some unlucky losses in the past few months. Momentum is everything in this this game. Goniyama, 1 and 2, defeated Onosho, 1 and 2. Power, power pusher Gono, he's been a bit unlucky. He uh, went for a really big hit at the touchy eye. He got a lower position straight out and lifted Onosho up upright a little bit. A solid hit, and Onosho couldn't recover, and he was out Yorikiri pretty quickly. Uh, Nishikigi, uh, 1 and 2, defeated Arby, 1 and 2. Arby went a big double thrust, but Nishikigi, as he does, he absorbed it. Uh, he got a rear right grip, uh, a left upper body grip, and he just walked Shodai straight back for a Yorikiri. Uh, that was much better sumo from Nishikigi there. Uh, Wakamoto Haru, 2-1, and one, defeats uh, Tobizaru, 1-2. and two. Uh, Our chaos agent, Tobizaru, the flying monkey, he knew he had to deny Wakamoto Haru the grip. He tried everything to avoid him. It was pretty much like the... Uh, getting chased around uh, bar, like a, a Looney Tunes cartoon, but inevitably uh, it happened when Wakamoto just happened to patiently follow him around, got him cornered, wrapped him up, and out Tobizaru went. Yorikiri frontal push out. To me, that was just good, patient, balanced sumo from Wakamoto Haru. Uh, Daisho 3-0, defeated Takayasu the Big Bear. Look, Good effort by Takiyasu here. He blunted Daesho's attack a bit. He almost had Daesho off balance at one point after that first thrusting battle, but Daesho recovered. He kept up the attack and he followed Taka, uh, Takiyasu across the ring and just an Oshidashi push out win. Uh, pretty much uh, good experience sumo there. Probably a little bit unlucky that he kept his balance, Daesho. Um, I'll come back to Kota Nawaka and Mose in a minute. Kirishima defeated Shodai. Like I said, Kirishima is a man on a mission. He denied a grip to him first up. He went for a, a, a neck thrust to Nodawa neck thrust and pushed Shodai out in quick time. Not much Shodai could do under such intent there. It was a Yurikiri frontal push out. Um, I think we'll call that a Yuri Kishima for uh, Hiroshima's um, effort there. Takakesho defeated Ura. Look, a thrusting attack, and Takakesho just followed a retreating Ura for a, a Suki Dashi frontal thrust out. Uh, look, I'm not overly convinced that Takakesho is delivering here. Um, his neck is the only issue, and his health holds out for the 15 days. He's, he's probably still going to do very well, but... Uh, uh, just the way he wins sometimes. Uh, Hokuto Fuji. Uh, gets uh, beat. Sorry, let me go there. Uh, Hoshoryu beat Hokuto Fuji. Hokuto Fuji drove forward and he kept Hoshoryu off the belt, but he just got a little bit too forward in his momentum and Hoshoryu just pulled down the back of if, um, Hokuto Fuji's head. Hataki Komi thrust down. So uh, another win there by uh, Hoshoryu. So let's go back to our... Uh, our 
uh, Sekiwake Kotonawaka versus Meisei. So Kotonawaka 3-0, Meisei 0-3. This was the match of the day. It was a long, intense battle which could have gone either way multiple times. Meisei really tried everything here. He didn't deserve an 0-3 after this bout, but, you know, that's sumo. One person wins, one doesn't. Uh, Meisei got a right grip and had uh, Kotonawaka under pressure for a fair bit of this, and he tried some leg trips. He tried uh, a few body hits of the bales, um, Kotonawaka, he tried uh, a few things. He tried to execute a few uh, moves himself, but uh, at some point they got back to the bales and Kotonawaka was under serious pressure here, but he executed a twisting throw at the bales. Uh, check out the photos on the Instagram. I took a few uh, screenshots there. It was called an Osakata. Osakate is the Kimirate, a backwards twisting underarm throw. It was last used 13 years ago in the top division. It's only been used three times previously in Makuchi, uh, although it was used in Makushita, one of the lower divisions by the uh, uh, Waka Brothers, one of the Waka Brothers this year. An Osakate, backwards twisting overarm throw. Look, if you look at it, you'd, you'd think it was the same move that uh, Yokozuna, Yokozuna Teranofuji pulled in May uh, but they called that a sukiyanage, which was an underarm throw. This one was a overarm throw, effectively twisting the same way as the arm goes. So it's a, it's a little bit of a complex one, but uh, yes, quite a rare one. Quite the win by Kotonowaka, and it was pretty much showing his class under pressure. So we'll give him match of the day for that one. Let's move on to day four. Uh, Kitanowaka had a win. Chirinumi had a win. Ichiyamoto had a win. He's now 4-0 uh, Ichiyamoto. Uh, basically, Tomokaze, look, he got a bit too upright. He doesn't have much to go forward at the moment. Uh, Ichiyamoto got a grip uh, for an Oshidashi push-out. Uh, Roga finally got himself a win, a Yorokiri win against Surugisho. Tamawashi, he's now on 4-0 with an Oshidashi win against Sadanumi. as a really good uh, touchy eye, and he just followed through on that one. Hiradumi opened his account tonight against Takata Fuji. He's 1-3. and three. Look, he was very fast at the touchy eye. Got a good body grip. He used his body to stand Takata Fuji up so he can push him out. Oshidashi. Uh, Kotoweko got himself on the board as well for a second win, 2-2. Two and two. Hikiyatoshi hand pulled down against Oho. Look, it was fast and furious uh, thrusting and slapping. And Oho looked like he was in control, but... Uh, uh, Kota Echo just got a bit inside and got a bit of a hand grip. And uh, Oho, I think, got a little bit of a slipper toshi as well at the, the side as the hand pull put him under pressure. So uh, Kota Echo got that one. Uh, Miyagiru got a win over Mita Kiyumi. Uh, Ryu then versus Atami Fuji. This was a bit of a long one for the two big men, uh, both on 3-0. Uh, it was about a minute-long battle of attrition. Ryu then ran out of steam, effectively. He got a really good right grip. He denied Atami Fuji a grip. Uh, you know, they kind of battled it out on a, on a grip battle in the middle for quite a while. A little bit of a cat and mouse going at the middle, uh, but... He effectively, I think he, uh, Atami Fuji could see that Ryudin was, was, he was, you know, breathing hard. He was running out of steam halfway through. As Atami Fuji retreated, you could see that Ryudin's legs just gave out from him. He just didn't have the push uh, left and he went head down, Hitaki Komi uh, slapped down and Atami Fuji gets the 4 0. Uh, I kind of felt for Ryudin there. He just kind of ran out of that steam and Atami Fuji is not a small man. Uh, so, Kimbozan, he got himself a second win tonight. Uh, pretty good low touchy eye. Got himself a body grip and uh, out went Hokseho, which uh, is, that makes Hokseho two and two. He's uh, lost his last two. Takanosho got himself a good start uh, and against Endo. Endo just couldn't get a grip. He just... He had no second option. He kept trying for the grip, and it was just all too late. Oshidashi push out. Uh, Midori Fuji got himself a win against uh, Onosho. Midori Fuji was under some fairly good pressure with a few thrusts back to the bales, but he, the last moment he showed his agility. He took a, a little right step as Onosho bit the dust. Uh, Sukiyatoshi thrust down. Good win there. That gets Midori Fuji to 3-1. Um, uh, Nishikigi. 
uh, got himself a win against Shonanumi. Nishkigi moves himself to two and two. Shonanumi to three and one. Look, they both got an inside grip. And they went to the bales. Um, it was a went for a pretty good throw at the bales for Nishkigi. Got himself a shit and uh, shitata nage throw. Uh, Shodai versus Gonayama. Shodai got a really big hit from Shodai. Uh, he took the hit. Uh, he went to the side after the hit and then just. Thrust him down, easy peasy, Suketoshi. Um, it was he got one arm under the armpit, and uh, Gonayama was done. Got the Nawaka. Uh, got it. Uh, got a win over Arby. Sorry, uh, Arby tried a thrusting at- attack. Uh, he tried to hit. Hikiyatoshi pulled down, but he got himself off balance by doing it. He retreated, and Koto Nowaka took advantage for an Oshidashi push out. Uh, and so we then moved into the Sekiwake ranks uh, with Hokuto Fuji taking a win from Wakamoto Haru. Look, I think uh, Wakamoto Haru just kind of uh, didn't expect him to come so fast. Hokuto Fuji... Got a pretty good, strong touchy eye. Wakamoto Haru tried for a pull down at the retreat, but the second hit by uh, Hokuto Fuji just pushed Wakamoto Haru out. It was um, some pretty good forceful hitting there. Um, Daesho beats Ura. Uh, poor old Ura's neck must be sore because it's the second time in a row he's copped some big Nodawa uh, neck thrusts and his head goes all the way back and he's looking at the roof. Um, basically off the thrust, he, off the uh, touchy eye, uh, Daesho got a good left hit on um, on Ura and then followed by a really nasty right Nodawa to the neck. Ura was upright and it was an inevitable Oshidashi from there. He just couldn't get any momentum going forward. Ashoryu got uh, a win over Tobizaru. Um, basically wrapped Tobizaru up early, didn't let him get away, didn't let him play his usual chaos agent. They exchanged grips for a while, but Hashoryu got a left grip and just lifted Tobizaru onto one leg, broke his balance, and out he went. Uh, And then we had our other Ozeki, Kirishima, who went down to Takeyasu the Big Bear. Look, this is an example of losing pretty much at the touchy eye. I don't think Kirishima expected Takeyasu to come so quickly. He was on the back foot. He couldn't recover a balanced position. Uh, he went to the side, and when he went forward, he was just too upright before uh, Takeyasu just thrust him down. Uh, Suki Yatoshi thrust down. Uh, looked a little bit of a disappointing win there from Kirishima. I think he just missed it by like a microsecond at the touchy eye. So then Takakesho went down to Meisei. Look, it was a really big hit at the touchy eye. Lots of thrusting. But Meisei absorbed it. He recovered. Uh, he got a grip and took the Ozeki out for a Yorikiri win. Look, uh, I suppose the Yokozuna committee probably agree with me a little bit in the way that I think Takakesho goes about his sumo sometimes. I think they're looking for stronger sumo if they want him to get Promoted to Yokozuna, 11-4, and four, last tournament is not strong sumo, as he said himself, uh, and they're looking for someone who will dominate, and that's, at this stage, is not Takakesho in some of the wins he has. I think Kirishima certainly showed uh, some of that, other than tonight, the blip. Um, look, I think in the last uh, four nights, what we've seen is the difficulty that upper Magashira guys have in, and the hard journey they have in usually the first week of a sumo tournament, because effectively they've got to face all of the Sanyaku ranks above them, and some of these Sanyaku guys, unless they're injured, they are difficult to beat. Uh, not impossible, as Takiyasu and Meisei showed tonight, but they are difficult, and that's where the upper Magashira guys, Magashira 1 down to Magashira 5, they tend to cop a bit of a beating in that first week, like Shodai and Abi and Meisei and Takeyasu, and uh, even Hokuto Fuji to a certain extent, really facing a hard journey in those first four days. So uh, a few of them showed a bit of go forward today. Now on to day five. What can we expect on day five? Well, uh, Meisei, who had his win tonight, he gets to face Kirishima. Uh, I would think that Kirishima will be very unhappy about tonight's fight and Meisei is in for a crushing tomorrow. 
Hoshoryu versus Gonayama. Gonayama will probably come at Hoshoryu, but uh, I think Hoshoryu will take this one. Takakesho will similarly be a bit hurt about uh, losing to Meisei tonight, and he has Takayasu the bear. He wants to watch out. Takayasu has a lot of go forward at the moment. Ura. Uh, poor old Ura is copping a beating. Uh, he faces Wakamoto Haru tomorrow. Wakamoto Haru would be a bit unhappy about losing tonight, and I think he just uh, wasn't quite there. Uh, Daesho, our first Sekiwake matchup. Daesho versus Kotonowaka. This will be an interesting match. Uh, I would think that this, if Daesho can keep Kotonowaka off his belt, uh, this will be a, a Daesho match. Abi will face Hokuto Fuji. Uh, this could go either way. Hokuto Fuji, the way he's been fighting the last few nights, has not been good, but tonight was certainly a bit of a redemption. Topizaru versus Shodai. Topizaru has just been a bit unlucky. Uh, Takanosho versus Nishikigi. Uh, I would think Nishikigi has the ability to win that quite easily. Hokusei will be looking to win against Onosho tomorrow. Kimbozan versus Midori Fuji. Uh, look, big tall man versus a little pocket rocket. Uh, I think Midori Fuji can still win this. He's in pretty good form at the moment. He seems to be doing the job. Uh, Atami Fuji should quite easily account for Koro Echo tomorrow. Shonanumi should account for Endo as well. Uh, so they're the matches. I would think the match of the day tomorrow is likely to be Daesho versus Kotonowaka, uh, and I'll be interested to see how Kirishima comes out tomorrow. That should be uh, some good fights tomorrow evening. I hope you're watching. I hope you're enjoying the uh, tournament so far uh, and my little reviews. Uh, we'll talk again in a couple of days. Uh, Hakioi listeners, let's learn sumo.